Good morning, everyone. Hope you're hanging in there. It's Thursday morning, um, about eight, eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, wanted to give a quick update on the stimulus package and what it means for our work at APSI. Um, the bill was passed by the Senate late last night. It ha is headed to the House. Um, we expect that that process for review and passage will happen quickly. And then the bill heads to the President's desk for signature, we hope, later today. A um, couple things wanted to highlight um, that got in the bill and a few things that didn't. Um, we are very happy that um, some the exemption for um, not-for-profits who receive Medicaid funding for small business loans remained out of the bill. Um, huge for our provider community. Um, if you are a uh, not-for-profit provider, um, you will be eligible for small business loans that can be used for all kinds of things, um, including paying staff, um, paying utilities, keeping your doors open, so on and so forth. So keep an eye out um, for that. Um, also, the uh, proposed waiver on um, ID DEA, protections for students with disabilities, um, remains out of the bill. Thank you everyone for your advocacy on that. Um, next steps is that Secretary DeVos has 30 days to put a report together um, with recommendations. We will monitor that and see what happens. Um, the concern here is making sure that students with disabilities have access uh, to free and appropriate education um, during this time that students are largely sitting um, at home. Um, and wanting to make sure that their needs are taken care of. So we appreciate your advocacy on that. Unfortunately, despite our efforts, we did not get increased Medicaid funding. Um, particularly, we were calling for um, HCBS grants um, to be available to states to help um, keep services open. We are going to continue to advocate um, for that for stimulus package number four. Um, so please keep in touch with us um, so we can get you the information you need so that we can uh, uh, make sure that dollars continue to flow to states to keep vital services, including um, supported employment and other job services open. Um, we know that that's really important to all of you. Um, just checking real quick because this, I'm still reading through. Um, I think those are some of the main pieces. Um, money follows the person and spousal impoverishments has been um, extended through November, so that is great news. We're working on that, um, but there's still quite a bit of work to do um, and we will keep working. So thanks for hanging in there with us. Um, please reach out if you have any questions. Um, hope this is helpful and uh, hang in there. Keep doing the good work you're doing. We really appreciate all of you.